Hello everyone and welcome to Coco Manila channel. Today we are unboxing a package of Beach Wave Pigment with two inks, the sea green and the deep blue sea with a 30 gram tub of Beach Wave Pigment and a tub of shells and sand. We do recommend that you download a multi-timer app like this one that I use so you can monitor the timing for your resin it depends on the brand that you're using so for this one I'm using trendy fast casting epoxy resin uh, I use multiple timer for this uh, I have a timer for mixing timer for gel time and also a timer for uh, the white pigment and uh, touch dry time so in this uh, uh, particular brand of resin I have a timer for mixing which is 3 minutes and white pigment preparation which is 18 minutes white pigment mixing which is 24 minutes gel time 45 minutes and touch dry at 5 hours um, so the first timer alarms at 3 minutes. This is when I would mix my first batch of resin for the base color. As you can see here, uh, I already colored my base with the deep blue sea just a little bit. And I also have a timer for the white pigment preparation. So once this alarms, it means it's time for me to mix a new batch of clear resin which I'm gonna mix my beach wave pigment with so um the trick with this uh, beach wave technique and to achieve the lace and cells is the resin has to be uh, thick consistency or malapot um, uh, there are fast casting resin na watery muna yung consistency so I think uh, if you have a brand that is already thick, you don't have to wait for gel time. You can uh, instantly, immediately mix the white pigment and create your cells or your beach waves right away. Also, uh, in this video, I actually forgot to put uh, the sand first. So normally, it's uh, recommended to uh, apply the sand with your resin before you add your base color. So in this technique, I am using a heat gun, pointing it at a 45 degree angle or almost as uh, not flat but just pushing the white pigment towards the base color. Um, making sure that I don't uh, take too long in one spot because that's gonna cook the pigment if the heat gun is too hot. So make sure you move it around and just wait for it to settle. Also, try not to overdo using the heat gun because this will create a feathery effect on the white pigment. So a little, uh, a little heating will do a lot of magic with this. So just be, uh, just go easy on uh, using the heat gun, and let the chemical reaction do its work. So these are samples of. Uh, the different kinds of waves that we can achieve with using cuckoo waves. So I'm adding another layer using the deep blue sea pigment.
When dealing with layering, you always have to prepare your workspace, making sure that everything is level so that it doesn't slide down or move once you've achieved the, the look that you're going for. Uh, it would help to have a leveling tool or you can also download an app to check the level of your workspace. One thing to take note is um, you have to watch out for the key viscosity or um, thickness of the resin. We're looking for something with uh, viscosity that's close to honey or um, as thick as uh, white glue. Yung flow, that's what we're looking for. So. By the time your resin is about that kind of thickness, that's the time it's um, perfect for you to mix the white pigment. And also, it's perfect for you to apply it along the shoreline. So, in here, ito hinabol ko yung sand. But normally, this should be the first step before you apply any other color or base layers around your piece. So, ito hinabol ko lang siya because I wanted to show the kind of sand and the kind of uh, shells that are included. If you buy the kits, uh, the kit consists of two alcohol inks, which is the sea green and the deep blue sea. It also includes uh, the 30 gram uh, beach wave pigment tub or jar, um, a spatula, tiny spatula, and the swatches for our other alcohol inks, and of course, uh, the tub of uh, sand with shells and um, yeah, with the shells, uh, uh, random yung shells included in here. So as you can see, I am going to attempt to put a little bit of uh, water inside the shell and try to create a tiny um, lacing on the water as well, just to uh, have an imitation of movement. So every time I make another layer, it's a different set of timer. One trick to find out if you're already okay with the uh, uh, opaque or opacity of your color is uh, when you mix it with a popsicle stick. Ko ano yung yung color na lumalabas when you lift your popsicle stick. That's the kind of opacity na, na ma-achieve nyo with at least 2 mm na thickness ng layer. So that's how you can test if you're happy with the color that you're mixing. Also with the white uh, beach wave pigment, when you're mixing a little goes a long way but it also depends on how white you want it to be. So if you want it more white, just add more. Uh, just don't exceed 10% of uh, the amount of beach wave pigment with the total amount of resin you're mixing with. In here, I'm going to show another technique if in case you don't have a heat gun with you. You can also use the swiping method. You just need a 
piece of paper or a thin sheet of plastic I just dab it across the white pigment line and pull it outward the effect I found with this technique is that it creates tiny cells so I think this is applicable for smaller pieces like for keychains or pendants um, if you're working with smaller pieces I think you can also use a straw to blow air around and to mix the white pigment with your base color so that's it um, I'd like to thank you for trying our beach wave pigment and also we'll be uploading another video to show you how we do it in other surfaces as well thank you so much